In this short video, we'll discuss about the experimental arrangement and experimental study of Raman effect. So how Raman effect can be studied experimentally, how Raman spectrum can be obtained by the experimental setup. So this is the, the basic experimental setup to study the Raman effect. Basically, this experimental setup was designed by Wood, he's a scientist, and that is used for the study of Raman effect. So this experimental setup is consists of a glass tube, AB. AB is a glass tube. In this glass tube, the experimental liquid is placed. Okay, the Raman spectrum of the liquid has to be taken and that particular liquid has to be placed in the glass tube. And this glass tube, is closed by an optically transparent window W on one side and on the other side a horn is connected. This H represents horn and that is perfectly blackened from inside. So no light can pass through this horn or no light can enter from this side. Okay, So one end of the glass tube is connected to a perfectly blackened horn Another end of the glass tube is connected to transparent window. So light can uh, transfer through this window. This is an optically transparent window. Then experimental liquid is placed inside AB and a circulating water jacket is surrounded, surrounded uh, surrounding this liquid. Okay, And this jacket is also having the glass tube which is transparent okay so continuously water is going to circulate around the liquid in order to prevent the overheating in order to avoid the overheating of the liquid then incident radiation is taken from a mercury arc or mercury source source yes is represented here this will produce number of spectral lines then particular filter is used which is transparent to only particular wavelength, which produces the monochromatic light. Okay, filter produces monochromatic light. That means if a red filter is used, only red light passes through it. When the blue filter is used, only blue light can trans pass through this filter. So monochromatic light is made to incident on the liquid. And a semicircular aluminum arc is used here. This R represents a semicircular arc which is having the reflecting property, aluminum arc is used, which is going to be a good reflector of light. So multiple reflection of incident light takes place here and that makes more illumination of the liquid. So more and more photons will uh, fall on this particular liquid because of the reflection, because of this semicircular arc. When light falls on this one, light gets uh, scattered. So that the scattered light passes through this window, which is perpendicular to the incident light. Okay, so scattered light is studied, which is perpendicular to the incident light. Okay, so it is taken because to avoid the intensity of incident light. Okay, otherwise you cannot observe the scattered light properly. The intensity of incident light is much higher compared to the incident uh, intensity of scattered light. That's why the study of scattered light is to be done perpendicular to the incident light. And that is made to pass through slits. Okay, these are small slits. And there is a convex lens in order to focus the in scattered light on the spectrograph. This spectrograph may contain prism of high resolving power and the spectrum can be taken on the spectrograph. You can take a photograph of that spect spectral lines observed, which is coming out of the window. Okay, A short focus camera may be used in order to record the spectral lines, or you can observe the spectral lines using the spectrometer. Okay, And you, you should have a high resolving prism in order to observe the scattered light. It is observed that the scattered light contains a strong incident line 
and some lines which are having lower wavelength and some lines having higher wavelength okay the lines which are having the higher wavelength compared to the incident light are called as stokes lines the lower wavelength lines are called as anti stokes lines okay and you can observe equally spaced oh, okay uh, symmetrically spaced stokes lines and anti stokes lines we can observe a symmetry between stokes lines and anti stokes lines that means if four lines observed in stokes line branch or stokes branch four lines will be observed in anti stokes side also anti stokes side also the parent line or incident line is very intense okay which is having very high intensity and stokes lines and anti stokes lines are having comparatively less, less intensity you remember the wavelength higher than the incident light in the raman spectrum are called as stokes lines the lower wavelength lines are called as anti stokes lines okay otherwise in terms of frequency the higher frequency lines are called as anti stokes lines the lower frequency lines are called as stokes lines okay so basically raman spectrum consists of symmetrically placed stokes and anti stokes lines okay with respect to the the parent high intense line so this is the experimental arrangement and this is the observed raman spectrum you can refer to the shared notes in the google classroom for the explanation of this experimental study of raman effect here i have not included that only diagram is included you go to the google classroom and you study the explanation of this experimental study let us take characteristics of raman lines okay what are the important characteristics of raman lines the stokes lines are always more intense than anti stokes lines okay so it is observed that stokes lines are always more intense the intensity of stokes line is more compared to the anti stokes lines the raman lines are symmetrically displaced about the parent line that means stokes lines and anti stokes lines are symmetrically placed on both side of the parent line already i have told you if four lines are observed in stokes branch four lines will be observed in anti stokes lines branch also and stokes lines are having the higher intensity compared to the anti stokes lines stokes lines are having higher wavelength they have higher intensity the frequency difference between the scattered and parent line represents the frequency of corresponding infrared absorption line okay so it is observed that the frequency difference between the scattered light and the parent light incident light that difference is exactly equal to the frequency of corresponding infrared absorption line that is the vibrational line okay it is observed that the vibrational spectrum contains the line which is equal to the frequency difference between the scattered line and the parent line in the raman spectrum okay you can compare the vibrational spectrum and raman spectrum there is a relation between them i am not going to discuss in detail just to remember the frequency difference between scattered line and parent line which is equal to the frequency of the vibrational line so this quantum theory of raman's effect will discuss in the next video